Have a look with them. Hello? You're off, eh? They're away. And they're, they're away in the 1996 boys' head of the lake. Hold that down. Just check on the, where the lead runs through in the box. So we have a start in the boys' head of the lake for 1996. Have a seat which is James Robinson, Samuel Smith, Andrew Fowler and Bronson Valpede. Station 2, St Patrick's College, Linda Watson, Christopher Caloose, Xavier McKinnon, Matthew Hanlon, Andrew Morgan, Coach Kevin O'Brien. Station 3, Bellet and Clarendon, Daniel Shields, Tom Murphy, Cameron McPherson, Nick Halliburton, Cox Ian McClure, and the coach, Mr Bruce Serra. Station 4, Ken Hutchinson, Dwayne Gardner, Levin Morton, Sean Maloney, Richard Coffey is the Cox, the coach is Ben Kelly Oak from Ballard High School. Positions at the moment, High School, College, St Pat, then Grandma. Margins we're not sure about at the moment, but that's where they're standing at the moment. Yeah. All four crews away cleanly here. Very hard to pick being so far away. Right, the 500 metre mark, they've come through with St Patrick's College in front from Ballarat High School, then Ballarat College, then Ballarat Grammar as they come through the 500 metre mark. Very similar to how races have been rode this season. St Patrick's College have uh, rode most of their races from the front, only, been, only to be uh, rode over in a couple of their races by Ballarat High School in the latter stages of the race. So it's the second half of the race is really going to show here for us as to who it is. It's going to be victorious in the 1996 head of the lake. 7.50 marks from Pat. College, grammar, then high school. Some Pats by a canvas over Ballet College at the 7.50 mark. So a very close race there. We have only a canvas in it between some Pats and Ballet College. But we still have 12.50 metres to go and it is really a thousand metre mark that the test is really thrown out to them. When we hit that open water, which crew is it that can keep it under control as they come through the thousand metre mark? Some pets consolidating apparently in front of college, then high school, then grammar. Yeah, but... All crews moving well here, heading through now towards the 1,000 metre mark. As I said, they're going to hit this open water and they're really going to have to make sure they've got their boats under control when they hit it because it's make or break as they hit the open water. 1,000 metre mark, they're hit it now, they're at the 1,000 metre mark. Some hats are in front, still at the 1,000 metre mark. High school have moved through into second position, ahead of Ballarat and Clarendon, with Ballarat Grammar in fourth position. Grammar of three quarters of the length behind Barrett uh, and Clarendon there at the moment. But a very close race here. There's certainly no clear winner at the moment. St Patrick's are leading the race at the moment, but as I said, they've done that throughout this season. They have led. It's a matter of whether or not they can hold their lead. All crews are in the open water now, so they are going to have to work through here to make sure that they keep their boat under control into the open water. Got to keep the work clean. Of course, they're going to be hitting some of this heady water. Some Pats are sitting there rating on 37 at the moment. It's just heady water. Whether that'll be a little bit high, who knows? But they're sitting on 37 at the moment. Some Pats are linked up on high school at the moment. Through to Ballarat College and then uh, Ballarat Grammar School back in fourth position. So we're still running in those positions. Some Pats from high, from college, from grammar. Some dirty water there, just thrown by the college crew. Some Pats only three quarters of a length to high school at the moment. So maintaining their position there, but uh, high school certainly sounds like they are making a move on St Patrick's at the moment. Some very nervous uh, spectators down here at the moment as this, as this race moves down towards the last 500 metres of the race. And it's do or die as they hit that last 500 metres. The way the races have been run this season, let's see what happens. Let's see whether or not St Patrick's can hold this three quarters of a length lead over Barrett High School. They're certainly all looking clean. Okay. 
That's what, Mark? Uh, At the 1400, some Pat High School College Grammar still. They're still maintaining those positions. So it's a matter of whether or not they've got the grunt, they've got the go to hold that position, to hold the lead as they're approaching the 1500 metre mark of the 1996 head of the lake. It's still St. Patrick's College in the lead from Ballarat High School, Ballarat and Clarendon, Ballarat Grammar. Yeah, St. Pat's have, have lengthened out to a length and a quarter lead over Ballarat High School now. So it's St. Pat's High School, Clarendon, and then we have Bell Lake Grammar School, but St. Pat's have lengthened out to a length and a quarter lead. The matter now whether they can maintain it over the, the uh, closing stages of the race. So, Lyndon Watson, Chris Kalou, David McKinnon, Matthew Hanlon, Andrew Morgan, Coach Kevin O'Brien from the Bellout High Crew, Ken Hutchinson, Dwayne Gardner, Levin Morton, Sean Maloney, Cox, Richard Coffey, Coach Glenn Kelly. They're coming down to the last 400 metres race. High school seeing the rating on 33 at the moment. It looks like some pats have just stepped up a little bit now with their rating, just taking up a point. But high school are moving. They are moving on St. Patrick. So it's neck and neck here at the moment between St. Patrick's and Bellout High School. A very similar race to what we had in the boys' second race. College on 33. High oh, school coming over. Bellard High School have moved up on level terms with St. Patrick. St. Pat's on 33 and a half at the moment. Level pegging between St. Pat's and High School. Who will it be? High School possibly just lifts a little bit. St. Pat's looks to lift their rating there a little bit. But High School seems to have been moving through. Well, they're coming seeing on 37 at the moment. Bellard High School moving through on St. Patrick. And looks like Bellard High School have moved through to a half length lead. Coxon waving back to the other crews, the Bellard High School crew. 36 is the rating there at the moment. And it's high school moving through to a length lead over St. Patrick's. Who are in front of Ballot and Clarendon and then Ballot and Clarendon. and Clarendon coming home with a rush. Ballot High School, Coxon turning around and waving and gesturing back to the other crews. Ballot High School moving down towards the line. They've really powered home over the last 500 metres. St. Patrick's College losing their run as they come down towards the line. The victorious Ballot High School crew. Come by any means, they're still also in the contest, but the lead crew at the moment would be the crew from Barrett.